Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got an interesting video for you. I'm going to be testing out the new Becca Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder and the Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. And I'm going to do one eye with the new Becca powder and then one eye with the new Viseart Seamless Setting Powder. This one I've been using for a couple of weeks and I really, really love it. So I kind of want to compare the two and I also want to see how this works over this primer and concealer. So if you're interested in seeing me test out these products and do kind of like a full day wear test, then just keep on watching. All right, I'm at a really kind of funky point in my makeup routine. So I put foundation on and I usually, <clears throat> excuse me, I usually uh, put it on over my eye area, um, you know, same amount over my, over the rest of my face. But I thought because this is a primer, I kind of avoided my eye area. So my foundation pretty much stops right around here. I didn't want it to interfere with this um, under eye primer. So let's see how this works. I haven't even opened up the box yet. Um, but what attracted me to this is I feel like under eye primers are generally for, um, oh my God, spit it out, Michelle. Generally for like fine lines. Um, and then there's correctors that are for like dark circles. I have fine lines, but I don't really have dark circles. I actually suffer from puffiness. That's that tends to be my issue and you know if it's really bad sometimes like you know during allergy season I'll use like little under eye masks that helps a little bit um, but this was really intriguing because one of the claims is that it's for puffiness so I was like okay let's definitely give it a shot the color of it is also very intriguing because it looks very very cooling which is great for puffiness I love this packaging oh my god you know what it looks like to me it looks like an old-school ashtray you know, if it had like little divots on the side, it would look like an ashtray. So it looks like a balm type texture. Let's see if there's any instructions. Apply to the under eye area before corrector and concealer. It doesn't say anything about foundation. So I'm glad I kind of stopped there. I'm just going to use my clean middle finger here. It has, it kind of feels like, like lip balm a little bit. And I'm just gonna pat it under my eye. I've never used an under eye primer but excuse me I've never used an under eye primer before I usually just use an eye cream and call it a day that's pretty much uh, all I do for my under eyes so this will be interesting to see if there's any sort of difference so that's one eye I'm trying to see if there's any sort of smoothing or blurring effect between my eyes I feel like I see a bit of a smoothing effect right over here I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's right here. And I can even feel it. It feels kind of, um, well, it feels balmy. There's no scent. I am going to apply this to my other under eye. I don't feel anything cooling. Maybe this is something I could keep in my fridge if I want like a cooling effect. But for the moment, it feels, um, it, it feels fine. It doesn't feel like um, there's any tingle or anything like that. I have to say this feels really nice. You know, I don't usually kind of pay that much attention to my under eyes. I'm like, whatever, they are what they are. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my um, concealer. This is the Chanel Longwear Concealer and I wear shade 20 beige. And I'm gonna apply this how I normally apply it. And I generally, I either use a brush, which I think is a little bit too dirty. <laughs> moment. I feel like I keep saying this in my videos. I, I swear, I do clean my brushes, just not as often as I should. There's one concealer brush that I like to use. If not, I just use my fingers. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, I feel like I definitely feel like my under eye skin looks very smooth. It generally doesn't look quite this smooth after I put concealer on. I have puffiness right here on the inside of my eye. I don't think it actually did much for that, um, but my skin definitely looks smoother, I have to say. All right, so next let's move over to the powders. So here I've got the Becca, and again, I'm gonna be comparing it with the Viseart, which I've been loving. It has light reflecting powders, ultra weightless, brightening, it's not drying. I am going to use, oh look how pretty this is too. 
Their packaging is so nice. I have my Wayne Goss number two brush. This is the new brush from the anniversary set. I'm gonna use this with the Viseart because that's what I used with it yesterday. I have not washed it since then. So I don't wanna kind of contaminate the Becca powder with it. So I'm gonna use a different brush for the Becca powder. I'm gonna use the Wayne Goss airbrush with the Becca powder. So let's open this guy up. There is plenty of powder already, but the seal is still on. And then it's got one of those twisty tops where you can kind of close up the holes. So I'm going to go ahead and dip the Wayne Goss brush in here. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my right eye. So there is the Becca powder. I see the little light reflecting powders that it's talking about. I mean, you can't even really call it glitter, but like you, you see these like little, little itty, itty bitty like bits of sparkle in there. I think it actually makes my under eye right here look a little bit dry. So let's apply the Viseart setting powder to this eye. I've got my Wayne Goss brush. And again, this is a powder that I've been using for the past couple of weeks and I love it. It has such a great blurring effect. I think it's really... Um, a lovely, lovely powder, and I'm just going to press some of that in. Okay, I zoomed you guys in even more. This is terrifying, I'm sorry. So I do find the Becca to be a little bit, um, it has a little bit more brightening to it. It almost has, do you see that kind of like white, whiteness? <laughs> white, I don't want to call it a white cast because I feel like that's depicting something else, but like a whiteness to this powder. But I feel like the Becca powder has kind of emphasized some of my finer lines in here, and the Viseart powder has kind of blurred everything underneath. All right, so those are my thoughts so far. Of course, I've only had these products on for not even half an hour yet. So um, I'm gonna just go about my day. I will put more makeup on. I'll go about the rest of my day. My day's a little bit crazy today. I will try and do a check-in. Um, if not, I will definitely be back at the end of the day to show you uh, what has happened, how I'm feeling about it, and I'm not going to do any touching up at all. I really want to see how this wears, because I feel like I put enough on. I didn't put a ton on. I feel like I put like a decent amount on, so we'll see how it goes. So I will see you in like 10 hours. <laughs> All right, guys, I am back. It is uh, it is 10 hours later, and um, I have not looked at my face in like a very long time, in like six hours. So let's take a look together. So I feel like the Becca powder basically caught up to the Vizier powder. They look very, very similar to me now. Under the eye, I'm definitely seeing, under both of my eyes, I'm seeing like, a little bit of dryness. I am seeing my uh, fine lines. I could see my fine lines with the Becca powder side almost immediately. The Viseart, it took a while for them to kind of appear because I did not see them when I first put on the powder. When I first put on the powder, it really kind of blurred out everything underneath and now it looks like it's kind of settled basically. Um, and both sides basically look very, very similar. They both did a really good job setting my concealer down. I don't think that that has moved at all. I don't feel like my concealer has faded at all. So these are the differences that I've observed. So at first the Viseart was more blurring than the Becca. The Becca seemed a little bit more dry or drier from the outset. Um, but the Viseart now looks pretty much the same. The other difference is the Becca definitely had like a whiter kind of brightening effect to it where the Vizier definitely seemed a little bit more blurring and kind of like just completely translucent where this one definitely I could see, I could still kind of see that this appears a little bit whiter underneath. I don't necessarily like that because I don't like this kind of like white, that kind of like white, um, it almost looks like a like a white filter is over your face. I don't necessarily like that because I feel like, at least for me and my skin tone, it ends up making my uh, skin look a little ashy. Um, but if that's what you like, if that's what you're looking for, I think that Becca has that over the Viseart. If you want something completely translucent, I think the Viseart is the one that you should go for. 
Um, but overall, I think that they're both really, really good. I think I personally like the Viseart more because I like the blurring effect that it had and I like that it doesn't have the white cast. And they both had really good staying power. As far as the under eye primer goes, this guy, I think it was kind of a nice touch. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna stick this in the fridge and I'm gonna see if that makes a difference and I'm gonna use it on a day where my eyes are a little bit puffy, which has been, unfortunately, more common these past few days because my allergies have been killing me. And I will report back. If uh, if it's good, you know it's gonna end up in my favorites. All right, guys, so that's it for my video. That was my comparison of these two new setting powders from Becca and Busy Art, and also the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please comment down below if you have any questions about these things. If you've tried these things and you have your opinion, I would love to hear them. And subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.